Are you sure? Let's try it once more. Good morning and welcome to our Mass. And to our Father, we pray, thy kingdom come. But in today's gospel, Jesus tells us that God's kingdom is already among us. Every time we make peace, God's kingdom is here. Every time justice is shown, God's kingdom is here. Every time someone does an act of love, God's kingdom is here. As people of God's kingdom, we come together to praise <coughs> God. During this mass, let's pray that God's kingdom will be more and more through our words and actions. Our opening song is number 305, Our God is Here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Oh, it's my privilege to announce to you this morning, our God is here. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these beautiful mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the firstborn of the dead. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you love and encourage your people. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will draw us into your body, risen in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Thank you. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord God has come to me because he has chosen me. The Lord has sent me to tell the oppressed the good news, to heal the brokenhearted and to announce freedom from prisoners and captives. This is the year when the Lord God will show kindness to us and punish our enemies. The Lord has sent me to comfort all who mourn, to give to those who mourn in Zion. Joy and gladness instead of grief, a song of praise instead of sorrow. The word of the Lord. Our Alleluia song leaders can please come up.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Pharisees asked Jesus when God's kingdom would come. He answered, God's kingdom isn't something you can see. There is no use saying, look, here it is, or look, there it is. God's kingdom is already here with you. Jesus said to his disciples, the time will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not. When people say to you, look there, or look here, do not go looking for him. The day of the Son of Man will be like lightning flashing across the sky, but first he must suffer terribly and be rejected by the people of today. The Gospel of the Lord. We heard in the prophet uh, Isaiah writing, saying, The Spirit of the Lord God has come to me. The Spirit of the Lord of God has come to you and I. It's the same Spirit uh, prophet Isaiah is talking about. I'm trying to think of an example of what that looks like. The Spirit of the Lord God has come upon me. And it's easy. It's the memorial that we're looking at today. And, and really, it's all saints, especially uh, St. Uh, Martin of Tours. And in the Gospel of St. Luke, Jesus says, God's kingdom is already here with us. It's here now. It's the same kingdom that Jesus talked about 2,021 years ago. The kingdom of God is with us. It's here now. I'm so glad <laughs> we need the kingdom of God. It's a crazy world. So we need the kingdom. It's here in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. It's here that God's kingdom is revealed. At Mass, at every holy sacrifice of the Mass, all heaven and earth are united in this one moment on this holy sacrifice, the holy altar of sacrifice. Heaven and earth are united. The kingdom of God is here. It is among us. And we say, thank you, God, in the season of Thanksgiving. The saints help us understand this deep mystery. It's real. It's a deep mystery. How? By their lives, the lives that they live. So, uh, again, the Universal Church celebrates the memorial of St. Martin of Tours. He was a bishop, a great saint, reveals to us by his life what, saint, uh, what a prophet Isaiah said. The spirit of, of the God was, was in him, was with him. And we could see the kingdom of God by his actions. Uh, he was a monk and then ordained a bishop. And he fought really hard against all things like paganism, things that weren't of God. Boy, he fought hard. Believe in God, he would say. And then he was incredible mercy, beautiful justice and, and social justice and so, social things, and incredible mercy uh, towards sinners. Did you know when he was 15 years old, he was forced to serve in the army, military, I think I'd rather be in school. But he uh, served when he was 15 years old. He was forced to serve in the army. And then when he was 23 years old, did you know this? That he told, uh, he decided not to continue a career in the military service. So he decided to tell his commander this. And this is what he said. I have served you as a soldier. Now let me serve Christ, my Savior. Isn't that beautiful? The Spirit of God was in him, isn't it? When we hear these words, 
I've served you as a soldier. Now let me serve Christ, my Savior. Uh, St. Martin died in the year 397. He's a patron saint of soldiers. So all military branches, uh, he's a, a patron saint. Uh, men and women, uh, boys and girls, events, maybe some of you will be soldiers in the military. This will be a good saint to pray to as you finish school and then go into the military. He is the patron saint of wine producers. I don't know what that story is, but it sounds good to me. Good refreshments, nothing wrong with that. And then he's the patron saint of France. So uh, a very special day for the Universal Church and, and for France. Saint Martin of Tours had an incredible wisdom. While in the military, this story is told, while in the military, he encountered a freezing beggar and clothed him. It was freezing. He saw the beggar and he clothed him. He saw that, that there was an issue, a, a social issue. He had to, he did the right thing. He saw a need and he responded with love. Something very ordinary, very simple, maybe some a warm coat, gloves, whatever he, the beggar needed. And then St. Martin had a vision later that night of Jesus praising his merciful act of justice and social help, which turned him away from, uh, he, that's why he decided uh, to leave the uh, life of a soldier, a military career, and then this uh, actually helped him toward his eventually being baptized. Baptized uh, Catholic Christian. He saw Christ in that beggar, and it transformed how he saw everything else in the world. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Just a simple, ordinary act. But it was a power. It changed his life. And it changed the life of the people he touched. That's what's so beautiful about when we uh, respond to social justice issues. We can help people. We help ourselves and help. And everybody grows. So as we uh, uh, pray this holy sacrifice of the Mass and receive Holy Eucharist, it's okay to ask God to make us, what, more merciful? That we be a loving, mercy people, like, like just like St. Martin. Uh, be more vigilant, watchful, focused, uh, more insightful, that we might come to inhabit the kingdom rather than look for it as something out there, obscure. No, it's something real, and in each of us, it's right here, right now, the kingdom of God. And it's okay to pray for that. Maybe that's a good thing to pray uh, after we receive communion. Ask for those gifts. Because when we do, and do these things, like just like St. Martin of Tours, we're transformed. We're transformed by what Christ shares with us. Because what we receive in Eucharist, we're going to share. We don't hoard it and keep it, like St. Martin did. He shared. He shared what he had. Uh, what uh, He had the Spirit of the Lord God in him. So do we. And he shared the kingdom of, that is already here with us. We will too. And that happens this morning. And all we can say, thank you, God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Together we stand and let us humbly bring our concerns to God, who hears the cry of the poor. For Father Tom, Father Tim, and Father Taylor, and all of our teachers, that God may watch over them as they lead us in our spiritual journey, we pray to the Lord.
On this Veterans Day, loving God, we ask for blessings on all those who have served their country in the armed forces. We pray to the Lord. In November, we remember all who have died. We pray for the poor souls in purgatory. May they see the face of God soon and enjoy eternal heaven. We pray to the Lord. For our medical workers, firefighters, and police officers like my dad, may they feel the peace, love, and strength of Christ as they keep us safe. We pray to the Lord. And thanksgiving for all blessings in our lives, especially our families and school community. We pray to the Lord. For families that grieve the loss of a loved one, that the promise of eternal life might lessen the burden of the sorrow, we prayerfully remember Mrs. Tabor, who was buried last week. We pray to the Lord. For all pregnant women, that they will protect and respect the gifts you have given them. We pray for my mom who will soon have my twin baby brother. We pray to the Lord. For the intentions of Lloyd Worthington, which we are remembering at this Mass, and for all of the needs we hold within our hearts, we pray to the Lord. God of the living, you are faithful to your, to your eternal covenant. Please hear the prayers of your servants and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our preparation song is Make a Joyful Noise.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of St. Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of this holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and George our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. <clears throat> Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With well, thank you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Our communion song is number 335, Behold the Lamb, 335.
Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by this sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with, with you, your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And as we go forth, we'll sing number 735, America the Beautiful. 735. 